we've come up with a portfolio for you uh, that is both socially responsible and fossil fuel free. So I know Tina when, Lopez I is a conscientious in investor. I'm mostly interested in the geothermal. Perfect. She's told her advisor she's also uh, keen to avoid guns, especially advisor. since the shooting last year in her old neighborhood, Toronto's Danforth area. I'm still in touch with neighbors there. The devastation to families, and I think most Canadians were really moved uh, by the grief that that caused. I mean, I think that, that guns and military weapons are one of the biggest red flags when it comes to my clients, that really they don't want to be profiting from these uh, weapons. But the Canada Pension Plan Investment Board, which manages the National Retirement Savings Fund that every Canadian worker pays into, holds stock in a number of companies that make assault rifles, handguns and ammunition. Uh, to type in CPPIB. Toby Heaps publishes a magazine about ethical investing. And then we go and see who the, who the big stocks are, and then we go look at uh, how much of those stocks does the fund own and are they... He says a number of provincial pension funds for public servants have opted not to invest in companies that make bullets or assault rifles. In Canada, it's illegal to sell those guns, so it seems kind of weird that it's, it's legal for our national pension fund to invest in those funds. The stocks aren't great money makers either. This is where the Canada Pension Plan Investment Board has its head office. But the board declined our request for an interview. We thought maybe its spokesperson would point out that the plan owns just $37 million worth of weapons-related stock out of the $400 billion it manages. Again, I don't Although the dollar value makes no difference to Tina Lopez. I think it's wrong to look at it in terms of financial percentages. I want to look at it in terms of the impact on the most vulnerable people. So what we need to do is continue to push CPP towards adopting more stringent, socially responsible investment policies. Not every Canadian may be concerned about owning shares in weapons manufacturers, but those who don't want any part of what's been called an epidemic of gun violence are starting to speak up. Diane Buckner, CBC News, Toronto.